Welcome to the March 27th edition of the Pioneer News Highlights with your host, Nick Tangora. From everything LIU Post news, sports, arts, and entertainment, we've got you covered. Game design students are weighing in on Nintendo President's retirement. Many digital game design majors closely watch the industry in which they hope to obtain internships and jobs. Thus, they were surprised when on February 21st, the president and COO of Nintendo of America, Reggie Phils Amy, announced his retirement after almost 13 years on the job. Phils Amy, who is only 57 years old, will be replaced by Doug Bowser, Nintendo's current senior vice president of sales and marketing. Nintendo of America is the North American division of the Japanese video game company Nintendo, which creates some of the top selling video games. Howard Thaxter, a sophomore digital game design major, felt kinda sad about the news of Phil's Amy's retirement because everyone knew Reggie as the face of Nintendo for so long. The announcement was even more impactful for Daniel Cakesero, a junior digital game design major. He explained, I cried, it was very depressing. Okay, but not for real, but I pained inside. Reggie was the best, you know, he was the face of Nintendo pretty much, he added. Kexero wasn't the only one noting he saw a bunch of people on Twitter who were super bummed about it. Matthew Lanza, a freshman digital game design major, also felt sad to see Phil's Amy move on, noting that Doug Bowser's role should be about keeping Nintendo popular. For more information on Reggie Phil's Amy's retirement and quotes from LIU digital game design majors, check out www.liupostpioneer.com and pick up your copy of The Pioneer today. Students are reacting to this year's Spring Fling performer. American Electro House DJ Steve Aoki will perform at the Spring Fling concert on April 25th at 7 p.m. in the Tilla Center. He was nominated for a Grammy Award for his album Wonderland. Tickets are selling quickly due to Aoki's popularity, according to Ryan Day, Assistant Director of Events and Operations in the Office of Campus Life. He added, there's definitely been a lot of excitement already for Aoki, especially around the pit tickets, which have already almost sold out. Sophomore art management major Brianna Savarino is a fan of Aoki and will attend the show. She explained, I was really hoping for an EDM type of artist, and when they announced Aoki, I got really excited as I'm a DJ myself. Sophomore criminal justice major Savannah Giardina was unaware of the March 19th announcement of the performer. She was very excited, adding, I didn't know they picked Aoki. I'm very excited as I've always liked his work as a DJ. Jeremiah performed at last year's Spring Fling concert, and proceeds from the performance were donated to Relay for Life. While SAB was unable to provide the amount of money raised, they donated $5 per ticket sold. However, ticket sales this year are being used to pay for the show only. Day added, proceeds from ticket sales are going to be used to help cover the production costs to put on the show, like special effects, extra lighting, sound, and security. While SAB was unable to provide specific details, it is their most expensive Spring Fling performer. Tickets are available for $15 at the Campus Concierge until March 28th, and for $20 on Ticketmaster afterwards. Reserved seating, as it is farther away from the stage, is available for $5 until March 28th and $15 afterwards. Out with the old and in with the blue. As LIU Post and LIU Brooklyn merge to become one LIU, so will their school colors. The arrays of green and gold that drape across Post campus will soon become a distant memory, and shades of blue and gold will take their place this fall to represent a unified LIU. Green and gold have given Post an identity for over half a century. They served as a base for building a sense of belonging among students and faculty, and they've been an expression of the Pioneer School spirit at sporting and recreational events. The Pioneer theme is everywhere, on the walls and the furniture, in the tiled floor patterns, upon the banners aligning the campus roads, and printed on school merchandise, uniforms, and the gymnasium floor. Some students are left wondering when the color changes will take effect and how much it will cost. Academic halls and athletic faculties will have to undergo renovations to reflect the merger. Freshman business major Alex Salgado has concerns about the transition. He said, since the colors are changing, it's going to be a huge financial thing for this school. A lot of the buildings are going to be changed because we have a lot of green and gold stuff around. It's everywhere. It's going to be really hard. The Pratt Recreation Center, where the merged athletic teams will practice, is saturated with Pioneer colors. According to Casey Shermick, Director of Athletic Media Relations, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of items around campus consisting of green and gold. He added, as time goes on, these items will be rebranded to match the new color scheme. This will definitely be a rollout project that will be transformed over time. He added that the new combination of colors is one of the many ways to carry out the traditional spirit of each campus, adding LIU will be recognizable with accenting colors from both Post and Brooklyn Athletic Department. However, he cannot confirm a timetable as to when it will be completed. For more information on this story, stay tuned with all your campus news on www.liupostpioneer.com. There is a new nurse on campus. Archie Gottbaum has joined the Center for Healthy Living staff as the campus nurse on January 4th, replacing Mary Fletcher, who was campus nurse during the 2017-2018 academic year. The previous nurse, Constance Montalbano, retired on February 28, 2017, after serving as campus nurse for seven years. 
There was no nurse on campus during the fall 2018 semester. Gottbaum spent over 20 years at NYU's nurse-run health center for medical students before joining LIU Post. In her new position this semester, she has not yet seen many students. No announcement about her arrival on campus has been made, according to director of the Center for Healthy Living, Lynn Schwartz. Many students still seem to be unaware that there's a nurse on campus. Courtney Scanapino, a junior healthcare administration major, was also unaware of the nurse on campus. She said, wait, we have a nurse on campus? Wow, I'm shocked. I'm surprised that it took this long to have a nurse. With a school that has a lot of students who live on campus, it's important to have a school nurse. Gottbaum is on campus three days a week, a Monday from 9 to 4 p.m., a Wednesday from 10 to 4 p.m., and on Friday from 10 to 2.30 p.m. She can be reached at 516-299-3468. Schwartz anticipates that there will be a nurse on campus on Tuesdays and Thursdays in the near future. Students can meet with the nurse at the Center for Healthy Living in Post Hall, Room C2, without an appointment. President Klein gets social media savvy. Over spring break, a new user joined the Instagram feed. University President Kimberly Klein started an Instagram page to share stories and photos about LIU. Klein explained Facebook is still used by millennials, but Instagram is the top choice for Generation Z. There are over two dozen university-affiliated Instagram accounts, with users ranging from club, sports, Greek life, and dean of students Michael Berthel. The goal is to build up the page until fall 2019, according to Klein. She said, at this point, I am letting it grow organically. For now, people are finding me by accident. The LIU president account has 42 followers so far and follows back 13 accounts, 10 LIU groups, and three post-musical theater students. She said, I followed the first three students who followed me. Currently, comments are disabled on the account's content. Right now, it's looking like the president is just sticking to Instagram, adding, I don't anticipate joining Twitter or Facebook at this point, but I believe Instagram offers a strong platform. For more information on this story and all the stories you heard today, check out the www.liupostpioneer.com and pick up your copy of The Pioneer Today. That's it for this week's Pioneer News Highlights with your host, Nick Tangora. I'll see you next week with all LIU Post news, sports, features, and of course, arts and entertainment.